hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a pivot view in odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a different types of graphs in odoo please check link is given in description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit this web Learns channel and here you can go to the playlist and here you can see different types of playlists also available in the Udo development here you can see the different playlist and this is the main playlist right now for the Udo development it will cover everything apart from this if you want to learn more about the full flow of the Odoo, the crude operations, the PDF report email, template, creation, how to send email from the backend side, cover in this playlist, deposit management system. And uh, you can see also the editor level tips and the Python related tips. If you stuck anywhere and if you need any help related to Odoo, you can go to about page and you can suit your email to this email ID. And you can also support this channel using two ways like buy me coffee or using the PayPal. Also, you can join this channel using this join button. Let's back to our main topic like how to create a pivot view. Like pivot view is the same as the graph view, but here it's only the main difference is it, it's a different view here, and it is a it's only a data representative purpose you can create such type of view which is called a pivot view here let's see how to create a pivot view in the backend side like same as the like normal views we are trying to create at least one pivot view for the student profile so like let's say default expand all and right now you can see this is the form view tree view then after the kanban view you can see here the calendar view and this is a graph view right now we are trying to create a new view like for that we need to create a, some basic template in the xml side So this is the basic architecture to create any view here in the Odoo. So for that, like we need at least this code to create any kind of views. All right. So here we have to provide in the ID attribute as a unique ID. Like let's say school student pivot. Sorry, pivot view and the model always should be IRUI view and here we can add like school dot student dot pivot dot view and here for which model we have to generate the pivot view so simply we can use here the school dot student profile and here we have to provide a few things the view name so the view is pivot view like instead of the graph the list i mean the tree form kanban calendar search map or dashboard so here we have to use a pivot that's it and simple like we have to provide here the specific like you can say as a name uh, you can say the field name which you want to display in a row or column wise all right so basically right now i am using a name and another is a school underscore id so this is our pivot view generated and now we have to register in the windows x this view so that for that one like i have to find out that windows x you can see this one and here you can see also the sequence of this view mode so first priority is the calendar view then after kanban graph tree view and the form view. so let's say i'm using pivot view at the first right and here you can see in configuration I already 
use minus u for the upgrade and the module name so whenever i will stop the service and i will start the service it will automatically upgrade the module why because we already changed in the xml side now like if i'm going to here in the school profile i'm sorry the student profile you can see the by default it's a calendar view right but let me refresh the page you can see here the new view also added which is a pivot view like this you can see if you know the previous session about the graph view you can see here the measure right this field you can see here this measure field so all about it from the measure fields and here you can see if you click to this plus button you can see list of fields available here like let's say i want to display name in the row so you can click the name it will extend like this and like let's say if you want to click here to display the school name you can click like this by default the measure is count you can see here you can also change to total fees like student frequency or student fees if i click here you can see the student fees also display and this is the count like how many num uh, for this school how many students registered so it's a two basically and uh, what is the total fees here you can see this one here you can see like each student like this Zethala student under this school xml3 and student no hurry on is uh, also under the school xml3 you can see here so it's by default it's showing as a one one but total is two you can see also same thing for the student fees is four thousand here for these two students and total you can see here plus you can see total here if you want to see like row wise and the main total you can see here 28,000 for all the students like this way you can see now if you don't know about the measures don't worry here like uh, all the fields which is related the numeric field like let's say the float field integer field and monetary field all you can see here like let's say if you don't have any kind of uh, like you don't have any field from numeric fields don't worry it by default it's a count so count means the total records for this model all right so for the double check you can see here student fees student sequence and total fees is also available in this model so you can see school dot student here you can see this is a student sequence then after you can see the monetary field this one student fees and the float field is total fees apart from this three fields you can see there is no any numeric field right so it won't be showing in the measure because measure only work with the numeric fields only here you can see like this let let's say if you want to display this by default you want to choose by default like as a total fees it is also possible so for that one you can use here you can use like here field name total fees and uh, like type is measure that's it for this for the double check you can see total underscore fees it should be available here also right if you didn't match like if this field is not matched with your current model might be there is a chance it will rise the error all right so now like let's say i will stop the service and let me upgrade the module let me refresh the page here you can see it's total fees right so total fees is 35,100 now let's say by default if you want to extend from colon to the school name and total from the 
student names like this like once i refresh the page it will showing like this screen it is also possible so for that one like we have to use type so type for this name name means the student name so we can use raw and type here we can use call call for a uh, call stands for the colon and row stands for the only row row wise and the colon wise like this now i will try to upgrade the module and trying to refresh the patch so you can see here right so by default it's like this way then after you can see there is a three buttons also available what is the purpose let me show you something like you can also extend the city wise country wise like created by like let's say created by this bot right if i will click this one so by default like let's say the you can see here in this current colon or this current row whatever like someone extend next level i mean this old bots you can see here it's selected and here rest of these fields if you want to select automatically then you can click like this so it will automatically extend that field not only here but you can see also here like let's say the city or like let's say the country here if i will click like this you can see it will automatically extend those specific fields which is not extended now like what about this one so this one is always swap the flip the axis like this one if you want to display here or this one if you want to display here it is also possible using this button if i will click like this you can see it will automatically display this way so this is the thing you can play with around like this based on your requirement you can also add more rows and the columns based on the requirement now the last one is the date and that date and time related field so here like let's say i want to display this date and time related field like this but i want to change also the format like you can see right now it's a month and the year right like you want to display this field as a day wise or week wise month wise quarterly or yearly you can see like this right so you can also do the same thing here using that date and time field like let's a field name equal to uh, be that for the double check we can see here this is a b dat and the format is the dat right so this one so now like let's say we have to do some operations with the dat related here in the row wise first let's see how it's display so again i'm going to in front end side and refresh the patch So it will display like this where like we have to mention raw. So you can see like this where it's showing the dead field. Now like let's say if you want to change this behavior of this date and time field, like you want to display the year, it is also possible like simply you have to use measure or oh sorry interval here you can use day week then after year quarter and month so all are the fields you can use here by default it's a month this one now like let's say if i want to use only the year then i will use interval equal to year that's it i will try to refresh the page now you can see it's display only the year all right so let's say you want to display the week then you can use like week and upgrade the module because we change in the xml side 
and here you can see it's showing as a week for the specific year alright so same way you can use the day then after the quarter like this let me restart the service upgrade the module and I'm going to in front end side you can see the quarter also now like let's say if you have a requirement to add more fields in colon level it is also possible using like this school fees let me double check this field is existing or in that model or not so like you can see here yeah student fees so student fees and type should be always call all right and yeah if you want to display in a row you can use like row so like let me restart the service and upgrade the module refresh the page now you can see this is the school id i mean the school profiles you can display after that you can see here the total sorry school school fees also display so total school so here you can see total fees for this school is 12,100 for this school you can see like this this and what about the total the final total you can see here all right so like this way you can do if you click like this then yeah and one more thing you have to remember is like let's say if you select by default is a name here then you can't see that field here in the colon you can see it's a disable so whatever fields you are using here it won't be displayed here also so it will balance this report each and every time all right like let's say if you want to download this report so you can go to here the last option is the download in access if you click here you can download easily like this way so this is a pivot view i hope you understood related how to create this pivot view how to use this measures field here how to like switch colon and rows then after how to extend the fields and how you can also assign all the fields in the pivot view using this type called rows then after this is a measure if you want to display by default this one and then after for the if you want to if you want to use different types of that format you can use the interval like day month quarter week and year so like this way you can use this report the pivot view in odoo i hope you understood this view in case if you have any query related this view please comment below and see you in next session